Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's Weekly Wednesday. My name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. Hi everyone. How are you? Um, it is Wednesday, December 7th and I have two projects today that are super, super simple. Um, I love super simple. Um, but I also love other things that aren't super simple. So, um, but today's super simple. So I found these adorable, and I mean adorable treats um, at the Dollar Tree here in um, my hometown, Janesville, Wisconsin. And they're Andy's Peppermint Bark Snap Bar and then Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark. I mean, ugh, so cute. You can find these probably in your local grocery store. And we are going to just literally put them in cello bags and decorate them. They make a great little table gift. Um, maybe a gift for your kids' class. Maybe for your coworkers at work. Um, teachers, whoever you want to give it to. They make a great gift. Now, disclosure, we do not, stamping up when I say we, sorry, stamping up does not sell these particular cello bags. So I'm going to briefly quickly talk to you about those <clears throat> the one that i have the peppermint snap bar in i buy these on amazon they are actually pretzel rod bags so i buy them in a huge package just go to um, amazon and put pretzel rod bags um, i will try i believe you know what i will i pre um do this video, I will, I will make sure I put them in the link below. Okay. Um, and then the other one I also get on Amazon, they're self, um, sealed cello bags. They are three by four and they, I mean, I get tons of them. I believe I get like five packages of these. They're just crazy. So I get tons of those as well, or maybe four. So three by four, and then the pretzel rod bags, okay? So those are my cello bags. Now, as for my stamping up products, we're keeping it simple today. We are going to use the Sweet Candy Cane bundle, um, and we're going to be using one stamp out of it. We're gonna be using the Candy Cane, where it says Candy Cane Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses. I love that saying, it's like my favorite. And then we're gonna use some of the designer series paper, but we're also gonna use the die because the paper, I'm literally, this is a scrap of that paper. I'm literally going to take the die and I'm going to die cut this to make this candy cane. Okay. And then this heart shape die right here that I love so much actually comes from Give It a Whirl dies. And this is the heart shape and I use it all the time. So let's go ahead and get started. Super simple. Let's start with Let's start with this one first. All right, so we're going to put this in our pretzel rod cello bag. I love these. Also, disclosure. Um, well, this isn't even a disclosure. This is just wonderful to share. This particular bag also fits Hershey Nuggets. So super, super excited about that. All right, so we're just going to tuck that down in there. I have a scrap piece of real red and I am going to use this punch and I was going to look up what punch this was before I started my video today, but do you think that I did that? Of course not. Why, why would I come prepared? That just sounds silly. Okay. <laughs> so this punch is label me lovely. So we're going to punch, punch one of those out. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to score it. I'm going to score it in half and I'm kind of going to guess. So let's see here. It's not quite two inches, but if I, I can put it, well, no, it is two inches. There we go. So it goes between the one and the one here. So I'm going to hold that down and I'm just going to lightly score that. So I have an idea because what we're going to do is we're going to staple it. I'm going to fold this down and we're going to staple this, okay? So let's peel this off. 
And I'm actually going to do this, and then I'm going to bring this down even more, and I'm going to place this down, and we're going to, I'm just using a regular staple, stapler, not staple. Um, I do want to do it in the center because I am going to cover it with that heart. So I'm just stapling that. I have my little heart die already. And since we're using the same sane for both projects, I have two hearts. We're going to get out our garden green and we're going to stamp this on both. So I'm just going to stamp stamp. I love that. I love that on a heart. It's so cute. That same. All right. So we'll set this one aside for the other project. All right. So now I am going to use um, my dimensionals. Actually, I'm going to place two dimensionals here and I'm going to just place that over like that. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bow. Um, I'm using the Evening Evergreen like window pane plaid ribbon. Love that ribbon. And I know that I used Garden Green ink, but that's okay. I I I honestly I did that on purpose. I know some people would be like, oh, why didn't she just use the Evening Evergreen ink ink? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I actually like how this color is a little bit brighter on the white. But I like the contrast of these both. So, that's what I did. All right. And I'm going to use a mini glue dot to adhere this on. And we're just going to put it at the bottom there. All right. There's our first one. See how easy and simple this is? I love these projects. I love simple, easy projects. Um especially when it comes to these little treats. Okay, for this one, we're gonna round the corners and I'm gonna get out this trio punch. Now, we do Stamping Up does not carry this trio, this trio punch anymore. It is discontinued. So if you have your own corner rounder, you can use that. Um, Stamping Up also has an, um, a long time ago, they had an envelope punch board. That also has a corner rounder on it. You can use that. Um, I'm sure you can find one on Amazon. Um, so we're going to place now this in. And this is a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck up the bottom just a little bit. Just like that. And I'm going to place this down. Just like that. There we have that. Now this piece here is um, real red cardstock and it is a three by three and I scored it in half at one and a half and then I rounded the edges. And now we have our, I'm going to do um, some designer series pieces. I'm gonna do front and back. So you're going to need one and a fourth by two and three fourths. You'll need two of them. Now I am going to round the corner on just one of them so that when I go like this, it's rounded. So when you do this, you're gonna come in, round your corner, but to get this side, you're gonna have to flip it over and round your corner like this, okay? All right, so let's do that. And I'm not gonna place this on there until after I staple it. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to staple it. And I actually, I want this to be out a little bit further so because I want to be able to see this. And then we're going to come in and we're just going to kind of staple it right about there. And then I'll place my stamp and seal. All right, so now we're going to place that right there, flip it over because we're just covering the staple. We're just gonna cover that. There we go. All right, now I'm going to run this through my cut and emboss machine. Usually I have my mini up here, but that's on the other side of the room and 
Nobody's got time for that right now. So <laughs> we are going to just do it with the big one. Okay. So there is my candy cane with that die. And so I'm going to now just place that. Put some on the back here and place that like this. And I'm going to kind of angle this like this. And now we have our little heart still. So we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. See, this is such a fun, easy project. I just love it. And now we're going to make one more bow, but instead of doing it with ribbon, we are going to take the ink colors, the 2022 to 2024 ink colors. Oh, love these ink colors. And I'm going to use the Sweet Sorbet, and I'm going to double this bow up. So I'm going to double it up like this. I'm going to use my little bow maker here. Um, I do here, let me explain this. I do have a video explaining this too, but you're going to place it in the back and bring it forward. Whichever piece you, you're going to cross it, whichever piece is on the top. Now you're going to bring that piece underneath and through the peg. So it's in the back side here. So now I have a front and a back and now I'm just gonna bring it forward again through the pegs. So I brought it under through the pegs and now over through the pegs. Do you guys hear my cat? He, I have the door shut and he wants it open. You're gonna have to hold on, bud. You have to wait a minute. All right. So now we have this double bow and then, and there's my cat. He likes to make a appearances. Oh, what did I do with my glue? Okay, bud, you gotta move. Oh, right here. All right, so there is my mini glue dots. All right, and now we're just going to place that at the top. And there you have it. Two super easy, super cute treats. How adorable are those? Now, these would be great for all kinds of fun treats, um, but this is the greatest time of year when you're um, making all these fun little treats and snacks. But you could easily do this for birthdays too. Birthday parties, they would be great little favor party favors. Just a great all around. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you need any of the supplies today, you can shop at amandasinspirationstation.com. And that's it. I think that's it. I hope to see you next Wednesday. If you are not a YouTube subscriber of mine, please hit that subscribe button. I do come on every Wednesday um, with a new video. And I'm really, um, my goal is to get up to a thousand YouTube subscribers so that I can do YouTube lives instead of pre-recorded videos. Um, lives would be so much fun and I would love to do that with you all. So please hit that subscribe button, share, share my information. Um, and if you like these projects, I'd love for you to comment or click like. Okay, thanks everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.